been on many a dynamite site where when they press the button, there's been bits of bloody rock hailing down 200 yards away where everybody's supposed to be safe, you know, about four times the height of the chimney, this stuff's gone. With the old pit prop and sticks job, uh, the worst you can get is a bit of a fallout like we had today, you know, a few old red hot bits of cinders or something coming down, which is no, no worse than what used to come out of a locomotive going up a big hill in olden days. You can, like, pick up a book that's been written by an academic and it'll say, the rivets are closed. It doesn't tell you how the bloody close, you know, it just says this is how, you, you know, the, you just do it like it says in my book. Until you've actually seen a man knocking rivets in a boiler or a man making chains, you know, it's, it's very difficult. I learn more by observation and asking questions than I ever did at school, you know. Well, that used to be St. Joseph Boys mm. at school before the war. Mm. That's where I was put. Because mm. after my father died, my mother died shortly mm. after. Mm. And nobody to look after me. I was put in that home at Manchester there. Mm. Brothers used to look after you. Oh, the swine used to get older like that. Mm. Mm. He wasn't all that keen on the celebrity stuff, except in, in later years it helped make a bob or two when he was doing his speeches. Well, I mean, he, he loved doing the speeches anyway. He just loved talking about his hobby, which... <laughs> was uh, quite a hobby because it, it enabled him to live the life that he wanted to. Have you seen him? Have you heard him? Jogging down the road, riding on his old seam roller. He's a famous steeple jack and the old smoke stacks make his face go black. He's a fella from Bolton. Steamroller, which was built in 1910. And uh, you can tell it's come a long way because the wheels are shiny. And this is the Grand Parade. Indeed, I'm quite pleased because where the, where the flue all were, where the smoke went in, you see, it were like sort of two foot of brickwork missing, which we could have done with. Yeah. And, and of course, we propped that up with a big bark of timber and did you see how it twisted round when it when it went you know it, oh well, yeah so well, it, it actually yeah. rolled round on that piece of wood you know stood on a on a big pin yeah. as you might say really like that <laughs> <laughs>